Hi there, William Drescher, Troubles Behind Me, Canine Training, based in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we uh, provide dog training services for troubled dogs, puppies under great start, and of course their families. Uh, yesterday I was in the park working an in-park session, socially distanced of course, and you know it was very windy, very hard to hear the dog, and the client was calling the dog and trying to get her attention and whistling and nothing was working. And uh, So I uh, pulled out a whistle and whistled, and she went, wow, that's loud, and I thought, well, hmm. Never thought about talking about this, so it's a little tip in our tricks bag, and I thought I'd share it with you today. It's called a shepherd's whistle. If you've never seen one before, they come out of England. They're used for training border collies. They look kind of like this. They're flat. This is the Acme one. I actually have one on my keychain all the time, so I've got one with me. Um, you know, it's a little flat piece of metal, and it's flipped over. It has a hole in the top and the bottom. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but once you've learned how to use a shepherd's whistle, it's incredibly loud. And you can make a lot of different sounds. So if you're trying to teach your dog to listen to its name or come or down at a distance, a shepherd's whistle is a great way to do it. It's what they do with border collies in the UK. So rather than uh, use my metal one or blow your ears out with my plastic one with the microphone that's here, I'm going to let somebody show you uh, how to use it. This is Alistair um, Little. He's at the... Uh, 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 bordercolly.co.uk site and this is just a little video of Alistair showing you how to do it how they work and a little bit easier to listen to so I'll let Alistair play it and I'll come back I settled against my tongue and <whistles> tongue normally falls at the back of your whistle or just stays against it and just your lips fall over it here and So as you can see, it makes a whole lot of different sounds. And in fact, if you go to the uh, site that they make, one, one of the companies that makes the whistles, Logan Whistles, uh, down here, they've got all these different sounds that, that he's been using to teach his dogs lie down, left flank, right flank. And I'll just play a couple of them kind of quick. Very loud. Here's another one. Come on. Or else another version is. So. A shepherd's whistle. It's a great way to get your dog's attention, have something on you that's handy. My favorite part about them is if you go hiking someplace and you're trying to call your dog, it's out of sight. Now you've got a way of teaching a dog, listen to a sound, and it goes, whoo, dad's looking for me, and they come running back. They're great for that stuff. And they're simple, easy to carry in your pocket. So just one of the little tricks in my tips bag, or one of my tips in my tricks bag, <laughs> we thought we'd share with you today. Uh, if you're interested in doing some more training and looking for help with some things, either in a park session or online, we'd be happy to do that at troublesbehindme.com. Again, help for troubled dogs, puppies need a great start in their families, we'd be happy to help. Hope to see you soon, and in the meantime, wear your mask. Thanks, bye.